Welcome back to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually obtain infinite amount of crafting resources. Of course, too, due to this trick, you would first would need to obtain a character of level 20 plus. Somewhere when you get good quality blue weapons drop for you that are level 20 plus, and purple start to drop for you as well, which sell quite well. There are two major issues within the division. First major issue is the fact that every time you go to the merchant, you can only buy weapons your level. Also, weapons your level constantly drop from mobs around you. And the other problem is that there is no direct way to send cash to your other character. Of course, there are other methods. Now, what you need to do is, instead of selling your purples and extremely expensive blue items to the merchants, you would put them into your stash, because your stash is shared between all of your characters. Now, what you need to do is, of course, relog on your other character. Now, for this to work, you would need to obtain a character of level 4, meaning the character that is able to get into the main base, where you can of course buy items and craft. Now, once you have logged on to your level 4 character, you would approach your stash, open your stash, and of course you would start withdrawing your epic or extremely expensive blue item. Now, what you would need to do next is, of course, go to the merchant and sell all of your wonderful epic item. As you would notice, the price over here is 5.5, 3,000, 3,000, way more than anything else that your character could possibly sell at this level. Also, please note this is one of the ways of transferring funds to your lower level character. As you could see, my money has increased quite drastically. Now, what you need to do is do this in reverse once again, meaning you go to the merchant and of course you buy out the items and then you place them in your stash and then you log in your higher level character to break them down. Also, please note, once you approach level 6 and 8-ish, the merchants start to sell you also blue items, which you could now break out for materials. Now, once you've logged on to your main character who is level 30, you would open your stash, and now you would notice that all of these guns are here waiting for you. Now take them out of the stash. Now open up your inventory and of course mark them as junk. Then you would deconstruct. And as you could see here, I just obtained 26 green weapon parts. If you would raise your character a little higher where you can purchase blue, this could have been 26 blue parts instead of green. Now, once you of course obtained all those green parts, and let's say you don't want to level up your character to get the blue parts, you can come up to the crafting station with your main character, click on the blue weapon parts, and now you can of course craft them into blue weapon parts. Once of course you have all the rare parts, you can now proceed further and craft yourself some legendary weapon parts, the yellow weapon parts, which of course require blue weapon parts. There is going to be two things that I'm going to recommend. That if you're going to do this, 
please install or reinstall if you haven't had already installed the division onto SSD hard drive. The loading times are quite brutal once you're switching between two characters. And the second thing would be doing this at one of the safe houses. For one simple reason, that if you do it at the base of operation, you spawn outside and then you have to walk inside, which wastes time. Or you could just go to the safe house and do it there much quickly and much more efficiently. Well guys, thank you all again for tuning in to another video on The Division. I hope you all enjoyed this exploit and I hope you all would craft yourself the best gear possible within the world of Division.